International Bluegrass Music Association holds its annual award show each fall at the historic Ryman Auditorium. We cut up with many of the winners and nominees at a reception to honor their incredible accomplishments of the last year. Hi, I'm Kelly Lynn, and it is a big night in bluegrass. We are here tonight on the red carpet for the IBMA Awards, and we're going to catch up with some of the nominees. I'm here with the man of the hour. Now, you're going to be kicking off the show tonight and emceeing. We kick off the show, yes. Uh, the Sandbush Band will, will start first, and then with our special guest, Del McCurry. And it's an old song that Del not only recorded with Bill Monroe originally on the original Bill Monroe record, but Del recorded it with us on, on, on my last CD. It's an old tune called Roll On, Buddy, Roll On. And of course, we love to play with Del, and it's a great honor. But uh, this is my second time to host this show. I did it back in 2007. And uh, it's an honor, and um, I, I, I love bluegrass, and, and everyone in, in the Ryman Auditorium tonight, we're all there, kind of united in that uh, one of the main themes that's going on is that we're uh, celebrating the 100-year anniversary of Bill Monroe's birth. I'm here with Mark Newton. Now, tonight's a big night for you. You're up for several awards. We are. Album of the Year, Recorded Event of the Year, and Instrumental Recorded Event of the Year. So we're excited about that. You know, all the work that you put into recording projects, it's kind of nice to be recognized for your effort, so it should be a fun night. I'm with Carrie Hassler and Brand New Strings here behind us, wonderful band. Now, you're all up tonight for several awards. Are you excited? Yes, very excited. This is a first, and so uh, we're, we're just glad to be part of this project. I have caught up with Sammy Sheeler. Congratulations, Banjo Award, and you got that through Steve Martin. Tell me a little bit about that award. Well, Steve started this award last year, and it's called the Steve Martin Prize for Excellence in Banjo and Bluegrass, and it's something out of the generosity of he, he and his wife, um, they um, wanted to help recognize the people in our industry for what we do, and and it was um, a $50,000 prize with uh, a very nice sculpture by Eric Fischel, who has done world-renowned sculptures before, and will be appearing on the David Letterman show, 11, 11, 11. I'm here with Michael Cleveland, who tonight is nominated again. Now, you have won this award eight times. Are you nervous tonight? Uh. Yeah, a little bit. You're an amazing, amazing fiddle player. Talk a little bit about how young you were when you first started playing. I started playing when I was four. Uh, and my grandparents were big fans of bluegrass music, and they started taking me to the local jam sessions and uh, bluegrass shows around the area. And I remember hearing a fiddle player play Orange Block Special, and that's what made me want to play. Now, you're up tonight for several awards. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about being here tonight in Nashville for the IBMA Awards. Well, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm like a, a fan here. I see all the uh, people I have admired for so long and uh, admire their music and their musicianship. So I come here, you know, really with uh, bug eyes. And this year you're up for a lot of Entertainer of the Year. Yes. And we're really, I mean, your banjo playing is amazing. Well, thank you very much. And uh, we have Album of the Year and Instrumental of the Year, which is a very big deal to, to us. At what age did you start playing? Uh, I was 16. Okay, wow. And, and by the way, that's the age of bluegrass. I mean, that was, uh, six, uh, bluegrass was 16 years old when I started when playing. Started, I thought oh, it was an old so form. I'm here with the Gibson Brothers, and they are nominated in a real big category, Entertainer of the Year, and you're also nominated for six other awards tonight. Are you nervous? Yeah, a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you. It's a little nerve-wracking, but it's a, it's a good kind of nervous. Absolutely. What an honor to just be in that Entertainer of the Year category, because there are a lot of really great acts in there. Oh, every, every one of them. You know, we, we're, we're, they say, you know, everybody says, I'm just happy to be nominated. Nominated, but we are, you know, and it, it really, I think it helps your career to get nominated in that category, whether you win or lose. Bluegrass, we're more friends than we are anything, you know. You can walk to a camper after a set out in the middle of a field in a bluegrass festival and eat some fried chicken and drink some Kool-Aid, stuff like that with the fans, and it, it's a, just a great week, and we're excited to be here, yes. So tonight's like a big reunion for everybody backstage, and it is. Show. Yeah, we see each other throughout the year at different festivals, but this is the one event that everybody comes to so you're going to get to see a lot of friends. It's a huge honor. Um, I mean we're in a category with such great artists as well you know who deserve it just as much as we do and uh, we'll see how the, the hat rolls tonight so it's exciting. <laughs> it's our first time being nominated and we're just glad to be here and be a part of the World of Bluegrass and award show. Well vocal group of the year uh, we took home seven years in a row uh, uh, back in the 90s and uh, 
Uh, I've had uh, the honor of being male vocalist of the year um, three different times, and uh, we're nominated for both of those awards again tonight. I've been playing banjo about 29 years. Got to be here a few years ago with a couple of other bands, uh, but our group hit the road a couple of years ago from our home base in Ohio. We've had a great year, so this is a good way to wrap it up just to be a nominee. Daly and Vincent, it's always so good to see you two. You're always laughing. Mm, uh, we'll have fun. We have a good time. And tonight you have a big reason to laugh. I mean, Entertainer of the Year nomination, lots of other nominations. How is it? We're really excited tonight and uh, to be amongst all the incredible artists in bluegrass music and it's just it's going to be a wonderful night of, uh, of awards. And I'm sure this night for you guys is always fun because you really get to catch up with everybody in your industry and say hi and hug. and. We do, and uh, it's like we were talking earlier about bluegrass, the expansion of it. You know, like Allison Krauss is one of our greatest ambassadors, and as we said earlier, Steve Martin. Uh, and to be with those people that we love and all the other great groups in bluegrass, it makes for a memorable night. Very happy to be here, very honored to be uh, have four nominations. I'm thrilled, and uh, we're looking forward to a big night. And uh, just love being with all my friends here, and it's a great time. We've caught up with our friends, the Roys, here on the carpet tonight. Now, I've been a is a fun night for everybody. Everybody gets dressed up, reunites, and sees everybody. Talk about what you're excited to do tonight. I'm excited to see our label mates, uh, Real Rhythm label mates. You know, a lot of them are up for uh, awards, and just to see some great music tonight. The greatest format in the world is right here tonight, and uh, excited to hear them play and pick. The evening was capped off with the huge Entertainer of the Year win by Steve Martin and the Steep Canyon Rangers. Congratulations go out to all of this year's winners. Now it's time for our weekly songwriter tip brought to you by Nashville Songwriters Association International. This week we sit down with Steve Bogard as he talks about an exercise before you even get started writing. I think a great idea is to imagine that you've just finished a song. You're starting a song, but you imagine that you finished it and it's the best song it could ever be. You've written it to the nines. And then you got to ask yourself three questions. If you're not an artist, who's going to want to say that? And then you've got to ask yourself, once it's a record, who's going to want to hear it? What, what's the nature of the audience? Is, what's their demographic? What's their age? And then the third important thing is, how many times a day are they going to want to hear it? Because it's a message that if it's going to be a hit song, is going to be heard over and over again. And once you answer those three questions before you write the song, it may change how you write the song. To learn more about NSAI, visit NashvilleSongwriters.com. That's about all the time we have for this week's show, but don't forget those new Take a Back Road discs we have up for grabs from Rodney Atkins. To enter this week's drawing, you have to enter online at InsideMusicRoad.com. Now it's time to announce the winner of the Jimmy White Grand Prize iPad giveaway. Congratulations go out to Cecilia Andes from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Thank you to everyone who entered. We're going to leave you this week with the latest video from our friend, Rodney Atkins. Don't miss out next week when we check out a number one party with Dirk Bentley. Till next time, I'm Bailey for Inside Music Row, and I'll see you again real soon.